the account of creation. Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. Evening passed and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens. God called this space sky. And evening passed and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God saw, said, let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed bearing plant and trees that grow seed-bearing fruit. That these seeds will be, will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. The land produced vegetation, all sorts of seed-bearing plants and trees with seed-bearing fruit. Their seeds produced plants and trees of the same kind, and God saw that it was good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the third day. Then God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, to govern the day and night, and to separate light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created the great sea, creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water and every sort of bird each producing offspring of the same kind and God saw that it was good then God blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply let the fish fill the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth and evening came and morning came marking the fifth day then God said let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind. Livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind, and God saw that it was good. Then God says, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will, they will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock and all the wild animals on the earth and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food 
for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. Everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw it was very good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the sixth day. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. This is the account of the creation of the heavens and the earth. Let us all honor how God created the earth. Let us look, since we're here in nature, let us look around us and see how good the creation of God is. And I want to talk about something real quick. Some people think that the seven days of creation were more like seven years of, or 7,000 years in which God created it and God perceives time differently. I believe in something that is that God really created this in seven days or even shorter because he is God. He created you within a second. How long will it then take for him to create everything we see right now? But it's about something different. It's not about creating the real image. As said in the beginning, in the beginning there was only God hovering above the water. And nothing had form. And, th and this is the same thing with our creations. We create something not in the time that we really did something, right? When you build with Legos, then the, the image isn't shaped when you're done building. You're not building it as you go. You built the you build the castle in your mind and then you put it into reality. And I think that this is real creation. When you have manifested something in your mind, I want to be an entrepreneur, I want to build this castle, or as God confessed in his own mind, I want to build this earth and I want to put humans on it and animals and livestock and all the small creatures on earth. And I want to make it good. I want to make the day light and the darkness night. He created all of this, not in seven days. He didn't make it in seven days. It wasn't finished after seven days, but the manifestation of him. This is what was, what was the first thing that ever existed, the manifestation in God's mind that he wanted to build earth as it now is. And he's building it right now. He's not done building it and now he's just managing and he's still building it the earth is still changing it is forever changing because God is so ultimately big he only confessed what he wanted to do with all of us with all of the earth and right now he's building it he didn't build it in seven days he created it and creation and building is something way different so let's all honor the process that our thoughts go through before they are into actual reality. You don't build your business until it's successful and then it runs itself. You're building the business throughout your whole life. The building you, you, you built when you were four years old with Legos, you built it in, I don't know how many days it took for you or in a big building session with your father. But the creation of the building was done when you knew what you wanted to build. Same thing goes with these videos here. I think, okay, what I wanna do, and it isn't filmed when I'm done thinking, when I'm done scripting, but it is created. The thought in your brain is the most important thing. And then you have to follow through with action. Then you have to do what you have created. Then you have to put into reality what you have created. Creation takes a second. It takes the second you realize you want to do this for real now.
It takes the minute of manifestation when you realize, okay, I'm going to take this serious now. This is creation. What you're doing your whole life long, that's building. Creation are the couple seconds you decide to change your life. And creation happens in all kinds of situations. Creation oftentimes requires pain. You didn't go to the gym because you thought, let's build my body up. You most likely, if you were anything like me, you went to the gym because you were brutally bullied in high school. And now you're here, the big successful guy listening to the Bible, the word of his creator. Let's all honor God. Let's all praise him in our prayers. I am praying for you because I want you to improve. Please pray for me. Please pray that I will be able to continue this channel. Please pray to God so he may give me power, so he may give me force, so he may protect me and I will pray for you. We're both praying for each other. Master your mind.